Hello everyone. Um, so I'm back in Iowa and I'm actually repairing my Standing Rock uh, TP right now that was gifted to me from Standing Rock um, right before they forced everyone to evacuate um, because of supposed uh, flooding that was predicted which never happened. Um, so this TP to me is symbolizes more than just um, being my first TP. It's, it's also uh, symbolizes the beginning like a ripple effect of uh standing rock itself and what it had the effect that it had on so many of us and um so it's very important to me when i first got this teepee and i saw these um rips and tears on it that i worked to get it fixed and to get these um tears uh fixed as you can see all the tears on the teepee and when I got the teepee I knew I would be able to fix get it fixed but I didn't realize like I would be actually the one who fixed it and I didn't realize that I would become a teepee maker and that my efforts would make me focus on what's been happening in white clay uh, after they shut down the liquor stores there but to me um, Standing Rock the movement that happened there with the water protectors and resisting the um, corporate exploitation of our tribes and of the environment itself. Um, it wasn't just um, a historic thing that happened um, in the past. To me, this teepee represents the fact that it's still um, developing, that it's still growing, you know. It's like um, that was the birth of it. And this is one of the babies that um, I am basically helping to heal. And then that I'm going to help develop into a, a mature um, movement of its own, you know. These teepees, to me, symbolize a lot more than just uh, a camping, uh, a Native American version of camping. To me, it symbolizes a tradition and it tr symbolizes um, a spirituality and a culture that hasn't died and that people predicted would be dead you know um, sometimes when I go to major cities people tell me that they didn't realize that we were still alive and um, that's just like with these teepees you know they're still alive and I'm actually performing surgery right now to bring this one back to life you know if you look at these um, big tears on this teepee you can see it went through a lot at Standing Rock, and I actually was able to sleep in this teepee, and I know a lot of other people who did, and um, so there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of hope, um, there's a lot of history, there's a lot of things that happened with this teepee that made, um, make this thing basically holding a lot of dreams and a lot of aspirations and a lot of hope that we all had at that time, so... To me, it's important that this thing gets repaired and that I repair it myself and that um, it feels like a great honor that I'm able to do this because when I got it, I didn't know how I'd do it. I figured I knew I would get it done and it manifests itself within me to be able to do it. And that's amazing because I never thought I would ever be a teepee maker. This is something that is just one of those things that, you know, this movement, this um, seventh generation prophecy, everything that's been happening with our people um, that is blossoming right at the same time that uh, greed and corruption and exploitation and lust for power is all manifesting itself um, opposite of us um, shows that we are important, that we are um, part of a destiny of the world. And there is a battle. There is a battle that's bigger than all of us right now that's happening. And um, so we need to unite and we need to work together and we need to show compassion. And you can see it happening in so many different um, battlefields. You know, not not violent battlefields, but sometimes violent battlefields. But, you know, in these movements, in these grassroots movements across the world that are happening. People told me that they, th that they believe that... Um, the colonization and the genocide of the natives in North America is a template for the same colonization all over the world, but also the movement to resist is also the template. 